Welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today's video is on how I created this geode piece using ropes and bin liners or as you like to say in America garbage bags or you may have another terminology in other countries. Anyway this is how I did it without using silicone to create the shape. So first I just used the ropes to get the shape that I wanted and then using the bin liners or garbage bags to cover the, the area so that the resin doesn't stick. And next we pour the resin into the centre and as always I'm using acrylic diamonds to decorate the outer edge of the geode. I will put a list of the products used in the description below so if you want to know where I got these or where you can buy something similar then please check out the description below. Next we're going to just add a little bit of mineral turpentine to help the resin flow. Because I've poured the resin onto plastic I don't want to use heat. Um, just otherwise the plastic may melt so I'm just using the mineral turpentine to one help the resin move and two to burst any bubbles and now I'm just adding a row of glass round beads in a blue colour and then just adding some more resin to just thicken up the, the area of this geode because it's not on any board or anything I need this to be quite thick so that it gives it some strength. So I'm just slowly building up the resin to so that it's to the thickness of the rope. And now just to add an extra interest, I'm adding some more acrylic diamonds around the edge of the beads, just to give it that little bit of extra sparkle in the center. So now we leave this to cure, so this has been left to cure overnight and this is before we do the next layer. So I'm just removing the plastic and I'm just going to trim off any excess bits around the edge. Unfortunately you can't see me trimming that off so sorry for that. I thought you could see it in frame but obviously you couldn't. So what I'm doing here is I'm just placing these acrylic shapes just to get an idea on how I'm going to place them before I coat them in resin. So just making sure that I'm happy with that layout and once happy I'm now going to lay this on some more plastic and then add a little bit of clear resin to the acrylic shapes just so that they're well and truly coated. We don't want to add too much because we don't want to have a big flow of resin behind these so just enough to just coat them and then just using my, fit, my hands I'm just going to place put this in position around the, the inner edge. Now I did think about putting more of the shapes to the outer edge just the same as the centre but instead I decided to place it on top of the geode just to give it a little bit more height around the edge so that we're, give, we're giving it um, more texture and dimension by placing it on top of the resin piece. And again these have just been coated in a very small amount of resin and they're just going to be positioned around the edge and left to cure overnight to make sure that that's well and truly bonded to the additional resin. Now I've also, to make sure that these gems are well and truly coated in resin, I'm actually pouring some more resin into the middle of the geode. This gives it an extra thickness as well but it also helps bond the outer acrylic shapes with the original resin piece. And then this has been left to cure overnight and is now ready for finishing off. Now unfortunately I uh, didn't turn the camera on when I did the backside, and all I've done there is just added another very very thin layer of resin on the back and just added some D-rings to allow me to hang this on the wall. And that's basically it. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you ideas for creating your own shapes using ropes and plastic. If you'd like to see more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel. 
and better or better still go and browse my other videos. I have plenty of ideas to keep you inspired. So until next time, bye for now.